Yankees fans, there's no question that the Yankees have been on a slight decline for maybe close to a month now, even when Sanchez was in the lineup. The Yankees are now close to four games behind the Red Sox, the scorching hot Red Sox who are playing, I'm going to say this again, like the 1998 Yankees. I say this because earlier in the year when the Yankees went on that win streak and were on fire, people were comparing them to the 1998 Yankees. And who was still ahead of them? The Red Sox. So it's not for effect to compare the Red Sox and the 1998 Yankees. I'm just saying that to be realistic. Now, the Yankees, like I said, have been on a slight decline for maybe close to a month now. They are losing to teams that they're supposed to beat. They are forgetting that they are the New York Yankees. New York. Teams automatically, even if they are the worst teams out there, are going to have more motivation to be a New York City team. It always happens around the spectrum. Now, luckily for the Yankees, they still have the trade deadline. In my opinion, though, they need to go for the jugular of the Red Sox. The Red Sox are handicapped when it comes to dealing prospects or players for impact players. Maybe for one. Maybe if they flip Devers or somebody else. The Yankees, on the other hand, have so many prospects and so many pieces that they can completely bury the Red Sox and other teams in contention for that World Series title. If you have been subscribed to this channel for quite some time now, you saw the videos I made about the Red Sox back in January. You heard me say that the Yankees slack just a little bit. They can see themselves about eight games behind the Red Sox. And that's where it's headed, in my opinion. But like I said, luckily for the Yankees, the deadline hasn't approached yet. Maybe if it was after, we'll be more concerned. But the Yankees have nothing to worry about. Because like I said, they still have time to make those trades to impact their team. What I'm trying to say here is when they called up Glaber Torres, that was a jolt and that was a rejuvenation. They need to do the same when it comes to the trade deadline. They need to acquire players that are going to rejuvenate them and give them a jolt. Because J.D. Martinez and Mookie Betts are having MVP caliber type seasons. It's going to be hard for the Yankees to keep up with the Red Sox because obviously Betts and Martinez are performing, but other players are performing as well. Little pesky hitters here and there. And it's going to be really difficult for the Yankees to keep up. So this is why I am calling for and have been calling for the Yankees to just go for the juggler. Make big splashes. Go all out. You're going to need to do so. It would be another story if the Yankees were three games up or three games and a half up the Red Sox. But the Yankees are starting to slip. And I've been seeing that for close to a month now, even with Gary Sanchez in the lineup. If I were the Yankees, I would make moves before the All-Star game. I know a whole bunch of these players are going to attend the All-Star game. And they don't want to mess up a oh, uh, NO player coming to the AO. Then they can't play in the All-Star game. I would ignore that. I would go all out and before it's too late. I know the All-Star game is exactly in a week, but a lot can happen in the week. Let's see if the Yankees turn it around. Let's see if the Red Sox lose a few games here and there, but I don't expect them to because, like I said, the Red Sox have two players that are MVP caliber that are just scorching red hot. That's a recipe to being a first-place team all season long. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.